Addressing the pandemic is just one of the major tasks ahead for Dan McKee. Vaccines are starting to get to Rhode Islanders gradually because their arrival in Rhode Island has been pretty gradual and they've been slow to get here from the federal government. One location able to give out those shots right now, Cranston, and we want to bring in 12 News reporter Kate Walsh for details on that. Well, so far we've seen vaccinations at medical buildings or in nursing homes, but now there's a new mass vaccination site open for those who have appointments through their employers. As the nation rushes to vaccinate Americans, states are finding that having the supply of vials is just one component in the distribution process. They also need to have the infrastructure in terms of staff and locations to safely administer them. Look no further than the Cranston Alternate Care Site. We've shown you the site before. Half of it has been in operation for weeks as a field hospital for COVID patients. But another separate part of the old Citizens Bank building is now a facility for mass vaccinations operated by the Rhode Island National Guard and Department of Health. So far we've vaccinated just under 700 um, and our intent is to vaccinate the entire force with time as we get allocated vaccines. But it's not just a site to vaccinate National Guard's members. For now it's also for members of the public in phase one of the vaccine rollout plan. Captain Amanda Ramirez walked 12 News through the process. After that they've seen the medical provider then they will proceed to the vaccination um, site where they'll actually get the vaccine administered to them and proceed to the observation center. Tech Sergeant Deirdre Salvas said getting the shot was easier than getting the flu shot. The decision to get vaccinated is a personal one for me. Um, over the holidays unfortunately I lost a family member and a family friend. I at that point wanted to be part of the solution and part of getting back to normal. And right now, again, the site is only used for those with appointments through their employer. The National Guard is working off of guidance handed down to them through the Department of Health. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.